What's going on, y'all? Grind the Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And the man you see on your screen right now is Jonathan Price. And if you don't know what happened to Jonathan Price, he was deleted by a Texas police officer. And the officer actually got away with it. And in this video, I'm going to talk about different lessons I feel like we can learn from Jonathan Price and what happened to him. I would also like to hear your take on the situation. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about Jonathan Price's viewpoints? How do you feel about how the case was handled? How do you feel about the officer? Let me know everything down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and check out this first clip. So it's not a clip exactly, but I believe it's a Facebook post or something like that. And it reads, with all the tension and animosity going on with race and the police, I'm on the same fence as Lil Wayne. With him saying a white cop saved his life and hasn't been too vocal based off experiences. If you don't know, uh, Lil Wayne basically said, you know, he's one of those guys that say there there is no racism and all that kind of stuff. Typical of all these black celebrities, they, they kind of just get up there and they, it's like they get hit with that men in black thing. Like they don't remember, you know, where they came from and how their past was, or maybe they just happen to be in a situation where they ran across no white people. So now when they see white people as a rapper or a movie star or an actor, I mean, or a, uh, a athlete, they think that, you know, white people aren't racist because they're not realizing that white people like you because you're good at entertainment and you are a good athlete. And I'm, I'm not saying that white people can't like you for more than just that or just genuinely like you, but, you know, they're looking at it from a different lens. Most People who have star power of any kind or cloud of any kind always have a skewed view of reality to me. But then it goes on to read, I was raised by the Malones and Woodruffs in my hometown for a large amount of my youth, was my second family then, and still are in 2020. If I have to say anything, the amount of food fed to me, money they spent on me outweighs any BS about race or color right now. I have family that never done a damn thing for me or supported my business ventures, and they're my blood. They will forever be one million in my book. And they know who they are. They're to blame for my countryside and my addiction to white women. Not complaining one bit. So you guys are kind of getting a picture of what kind of man we've got here. And I'm not sure if you're in agreement with his type of uh, man. If you are, you might need to check yourself. But let's get going. Then he goes on to say, There were times I should have been detained for speeding, outstanding citations outdated registration dozing off at a red light before making it to my garage downtown dallas after a long night out a long night out my bad i've passed oh he put that lame ass emoji up there boy you lame as hell i've passed the sobriety test after leaving a bar in wiley texas by two white cops and still let me drive to where i was headed and by the way they consider wiley texas to be very racist i've never got that kind of energy from the popo not saying black lives don't matter but don't forget about your own or your experiences through growth, waking up. And uh, so when it comes to guys like this, I think that they're kind of our little blue pill when it comes to race. I don't think it's blue pill, good to be blue pill with anything. Like, uh, you know, I date Angie and I have a few people that are Asian that I would consider friends. But I know that I'm not widely accepted by all Asian people. I think it would be stupid for me to think that. And just because, you know, you may have a white girlfriend or a few white guys that have treated you right or some white people that you play football with or something like that, that doesn't mean that all white people generally are going to just be like, oh, yeah, we accept you. We like you. We're going to treat you right. Treat you fair. You a fair shake at life. And, and I'm not even saying like, like I've had white people that have actually impacted my life in a good way. And I'm still not going to be out here just running around here like a fool like Jonathan Price was. So this is the first thing right here that I would say is uh, just because, you know, some people of another race have accepted you and welcomed you in doesn't mean everybody's going to be the same. It should be pretty common math and common knowledge. But, you know, common sense ain't really common out here in these streets. Let's go. So this is an article, obviously, by CNN, and it starts off. A jury in Hunt County, Texas, on Thursday found former Wolf City police officer Sean Lucas not guilty of murder in the 2020 killing of Jonathan Price. Outside of a convenience store court record show, Lucas, a 24-year-old white man, was charged with murdering Price, who was black, after a preliminary investigation determined Lucas's actions were unreasonable, authorities say. 
Lucas was responding to a report of a disturbance and a fight in progress at the store in October 2020. Price, who was 31, greeted him and tried to shake the officer's hand. Lucas thought Price was drunk and attempted to detain him, but Price told him, I can't be detained, according to the affidavit. So if you guys don't know, they're not really giving all the details. I guess it was a, a white lady and her boyfriend or something were, you know, in, in a domestic dispute. And you guys have seen the recent videos I put out. Every video I put out where a guy has interjected himself in a situation between a boyfriend and girlfriend or a man and a woman has not ended well. We got the guy who got beaten to a pulp. He's, he was jacked up in the hospital. The lady didn't even come and say thank you, thank you to him or reach out to him. You got the guy at the gas station who was mouthing off and he got shot and now he's gone and he's left all those kids behind and his mom and all of them is sad. And then you have this guy, Jonathan Price, who decided, oh, oh this white girl, she, she's in trouble, she's in trouble. I mean, hey man, come on, man. It, it doesn't matter, white, black, whatever. You still don't really need to be interjecting yourself. He should have just called the police, which they already called the police anyway. So he should have just called the police and, and that would have handled it and he would have just been out of there. So after Jonathan Price said he couldn't be detained and he started walking away, it says a quote here, Officer Lucas continued to attempt to detain Price by grabbing Price's arm and using verbal commands, which were both unsuccessful, the affidavit says. Lucas told Price he would be tased if he didn't comply and Price began walking away, according to the affidavit. Lucas used his taser but the device was not fully effective and Price continued to walk towards Officer Lucas while being tased, according to the document. So there are conflicting statements about this. They're saying Price was walking away. So you shot a man in the back with the taser, but then somehow he made a 180 twist turn and reached for your gun. I'm not really sure. Or, did you, or was he walking towards you and you hit him with the taser? Which one was it? That doesn't make any sense, but let's go. Price appeared to reach out and grab the end of Officer Lucas' taser, and Lucas shot him four times in the upper torso, the affidavit states. CNN has contacted Lucas attorneys Daniel W. Ray and Robert Rogers for comment on the acquittal. Lee Merritt, the attorney representing the Price family, said he is appealing to the Department of Justice to intervene and bring federal criminal charges against Lucas. I feel like that's, that's needed. It then says Sean Lucas was acquitted in rural Hunt County, Texas, by an all-white jury, Merritt said. At the time of his murder, Price was unarmed and did not pose a threat to anyone. Then we have another quote here, and it says, Every law enforcement professional that reviewed the facts concluded Lucas' use of force was unjustified, the attorney said. The jury's verdict goes against the weight of the evidence and leaves black Texans exposed to state-sanctioned violence. And I feel that, too. They also say that they didn't film the, the court case, which is also a red flag. I feel like whenever you guys don't film a court case, you guys are not being transparent and there's something crazy going on. And then the fact that you guys have an all white jury in a place like Wolf, Texas says a whole, whole lot. It's like, I, I bet they just went in there. It's like, it's like they just went in there and uh, they were like, man, so uh, yeah, we don't have any black people in here. So yeah, we're going to just, uh, you know, we're just going to sit around for about three hours, pretend like we've been doing some court, and then we're going to come out and say, acquit it, because we don't want you going to jail, my boy. We love you. That's what it was like. It was like they, it's like they had somebody looking out the window like, oh, they got protesters out there and all that kind of stuff. We're just going to act like we were doing some hard-working jury stuff, and now we're not. That's stupid. It's really stupid. I mean, yeah, like they had a, a, a you know, a mile of evidence. I know Jonathan Price is a bootlicker and all that kind of stuff. He's a sellout and he's he's slick dumb. But hey man, that ain't right. Following the killing, Merritt said Price had attempted to intervene in a domestic dispute at the store. Remember that's what I talked about with a white woman earlier. You don't really interfere in domestic disputes besides calling the police. There's not much you can do besides get hurt or get blamed like Jonathan Price and then get hurt. So it's just a lose-lose for you. Then we have another quote here. The situation was resolved before law enforcement arrived, according to witnesses. The attorney said, why this officer still felt the need to tase and shoot Jonathan is beyond comprehension. They said Jonathan Price was drunk, but I don't believe he was. That's what the officer said his reasoning was. He was like, you're drunk, you're drunk. I won't get you for public intoxication. It's like, bro, you came up here to, to stop a domestic dispute 
the dude was trying to break up a fight. You talking about you drunk and all this kind of stuff because you you racist and all that. And uh, yeah, you deserve to be in the prison. So if you want to know what the guy looks like who took down Sean Price, this is him, Sean Lucas, the police officer. Imagine your life being claimed by a fat, stinky, ugly beta male like this. Like nobody wants their life claimed by anybody, but just like this is the guy who took you down. That's terrible. This guy looks like a fat cartoon character. Look at him, just trash, garbage. You can, you know he stinks. You know he ain't smelling good. But uh, yeah, man. You guys, I hope we're able to, you know, see all the things that Jonathan Price did wrong. And if you don't, I would say the first thing was thinking that the white ice is colder in a way. And uh, I guess being blue pilled and all that good stuff being blue pilled and blissful out here in these streets to the point where you think all white people are going to just treat you with respect no matter what. And like I said earlier, white people aren't all bad, but you can't expect everybody to just treat you wrong, especially in a country like this where the history, you know, is not up to par and the justice system is not up to par and just the way society has set it up against us is not up to par. So you got to be real. You got to go a little harder. You got to be a little smarter. As far as another thing Jonathan Price did wrong, breaking up a domestic dispute. We talked about that. Call the police. Have the guy at the gas station that you broke the fight up at. Maybe he can intervene. Call the police. Or since it's his gas station, I'm sure he's strapped up. He's in Texas of all places. Pull out your strap and tell old boy to stop and call the police. Let him handle that. Stop trying to be a goody two-shoes. You ain't Superman. You ain't Batman. You ain't no type of superhero, so stop playing out here. And then when old boy comes back, you, you think, oh, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, Batman, you helped us. You helped us. No, they're going to be like, yeah, we, we, uh, we're going to get you for vigilanteism. Or, or you're drunk. You're drunk, Jonathan. You're drunk, Jonathan. So, man, you got to be smart out here in these streets. You can't be out here just being a duck, thinking everybody's a good person. And you can't be out here thinking, oh, yeah, I'm just going to jump in here and, and mess with these folks between their they, they relationship. Fast track to get you deleted in these streets. And then, you know, you got his family running around here. The bad thing was, you know, since he was a bootlicker and all that kind of stuff, he didn't have anybody outside of his family that was grieving about him. And all the white people that he spoke of, I looked at some of the news clips and everything like that. There were no white people. Where were that family, that second family that he claimed he had? I wonder what they're saying. I wonder if they're a Blue Lives Matter type of people. I wonder that. Like, they probably are. If they, you know, if they infected his mind with that, they probably are. So that's no good. And then, uh, you know, his family sent up talking about something. Yeah, hey, we're crash strong. We're crash strong, bro. That ain't going to help you, bro. That's not going to help you, man. We just got to do a little bit better out here in these streets. That's all I got to say, man. Sean Price should be in prison right now. Or uh, somebody should do something to him. But hey, that won't happen, unfortunately. He's going to be out here causing more ruckus to the next guy, unsuspecting. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a, you know, a nice little list of things happening in the future. He might get arrested again. You don't know. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video, man. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. If you watched up to this point, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.